Christmas. This holiday means many different things for many different people. It is a holiday of giving and a holiday of getting. It marks a very important date for Christianity, and it is a special time when families can come together and reunite. But how has Christmas become the way it is now? It has changed a lot since its origins. Thousands of years ago in Jerusalem, an angel appeared in front of a young woman named Mary and was said to be pregnant with the Holy Spirit. She and her betrothed, a man named Joseph, traveled to Bethlehem to stay until Mary gave birth, but all the inns and houses were full, so they stayed in a stable. Mary gave birth to Jesus in a manger on the 25th of December. After he was born, three wise men saw a star shining in the sky and knew that Jesus had been born, and they followed the star to Mary and Joseph and gave Jesus gifts. This story is the foundation of Christmas for almost all Christians. However, most of the story is now thought to have been fabricated by the church in the 4th century to promote Christmas as a holiday. Even the date of the 25th was chosen by Pope Julius I to coincide with the already existing holiday of Saturnalia, a sort of Roman purge. Now who better to talk about a Christian holiday than a leader in the religion? That's why we visited Lucas Valley Community Church and interviewed Pastor John. Wait, sorry, where do you want me to look at? Do you want me to look at John? Yeah, look at John. Okay. All right, thank you. Sorry. sorry. Okay. Right. Go ask the question again. All right. What is the most important part of Christmas to you? You know, for, for me and uh, for our church community, uh, we've, in the history that we have, uh, there were many years when we were waiting for the Messiah to come. There was, uh, we believe in brokenness and we believe in the world not operating the way that God originally intended. And uh, uh, for, for thousands of years, people were waiting for this Messiah to come that will bring peace, that will bring justice, and that will bring wholeness to the broken world. And uh, we celebrate Christmas uh, with Thanksgiving, remembering uh, the gift uh, of Christ from our God the Father. So uh, by far the most important aspect of it is Jesus becoming the gift that was given to the world by God the Father uh, to us uh, as, as people. I, I think it's great. You know, oftentimes uh, we celebrate family values and uh, families coming together. We celebrate Christmas by uh, giving gifts to one another and showing our love and, and care for one another. And, you know, I think that's a great way to remember um, the original gift of Jesus Christ giving to us uh, by God the Father. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we, if I have any right to say for the country as a whole, um, you know, we're not a religious uh, country, but what I would like to see more uh, would be uh, Christian communities coming together, uh, letting the rest of the country know uh, why we celebrate Christmas and the way that uh, Jesus became a gift to us, that we will become a gift to one another, ensuring our kindness and love and mercy uh, to one another as well. While Christmas may have its roots in the birth of Jesus for many, in America the holiday is largely viewed as more of a cultural and secular holiday than a religious one. Christmas in America is heavily commercialized each year, with heavy emphasis on gift giving. But how did Christmas become this way? The answer lies in World War II. Most families in America had a soldier in the army, so they had to buy presents much earlier to get them to the soldiers on time. The merchants greatly benefited from this, so they made a point to keep advertising early, even after the war ended. We also interviewed a shopkeeper to see a different frontline perspective on Christmas. Uh, most of the important part of Christmas for me is spending time with family, because I don't see them that often, so that's the only, like, one time a year like, we all get together. And, just like have a good time together to eat and just enjoy each other's company. And this is different around Christmas time because that's the time where like a lot of people are off and shopping for others. So we get a lot of customers in here and just yeah, we have a lot of deals. <laughs> As a store, um, yeah, that's uh, that's how we make uh, the most business. And, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much.
For thousands of years, this holiday has been celebrated across the world. But the turn of the 20th century marked an abrupt shift in the center of the big day. Christmas has been changing faster and faster towards being known as just a commercial holiday rather than a religious one. Despite efforts from the church to put the Christ back at Christmas, this change shows no signs of stopping, as each year more and more money is being made by retailers nationally and internationally, and less and less people are going to church. Once a day only for religious prayer, Christmas has become the biggest day of the year for businesses bent only on making money. The one piece of the holiday has lasted. The kindness, warm spirits, and family focus. So long as that stays intact, Christmas will never truly change. <laughs>